India's first bullet train project, big milestone. 100% land acquired in Gujarat. On Monday, October 9, 2023, the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited, NHSRCL, shared some exciting news. They proudly announced that they've completed the land acquisition process in Gujarat, and they've achieved an impressive 100% success rate in the Union territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli. This accomplishment involves acquiring a vast area of 951.14 hectares of land in Gujarat, encompassing 6,336 private land parcels spread across eight districts. The Gujarat leg of this ambitious project has been a significant milestone. Hi friend. Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 92% of our viewers haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on the complete details of the land acquisition for India's first bullet train project. Now let us dive into the analysis of the subject matter. As you might know, the country's first bullet train, named for its sleek shape and incredible speed, is set to pass through Gujarat, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, and Maharashtra. The goal was to acquire all the necessary land by December 2018, with hopes of having the bullet trains operational between these two destinations by 2023. The last piece of land secured in Gujarat was in Kathor village, Surat district, measuring 4.99 hectares in September 2023. Surat district has been the most significant contributor to the project, providing 160.51 hectares of land, while Budoch had the highest number of private plots at 1,057. In terms of compensation, NHSRCL has already dispersed a substantial amount, totaling 6,104 rupees crore, for 6,248 private land parcels in Gujarat. The largest parcels of land were in Surat, totaling 160.51 hectares, followed closely by Vadodara with 140.3 hectares, Budoch with 140 hectares, and Ahmedabad with 133.29 hectares. Moving westward into Maharashtra, we find that 99.83% of land acquisition has also been successfully completed. Here, 429.71 hectares of land have been secured, with just a tiny 0.7 hectares left to acquire. In total, the project requires 1,392.63 hectares of land. However, it's worth noting that the land acquisition process in Maharashtra faced some delays, particularly after Uddhav Thackeray took office as the chief minister in November 2019. This remarkable high-speed rail project, sanctioned as the first of its kind in the country, had its foundation stone laid by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe back in September 2017 at Sabarmati in Ahmedabad. The land acquisition process faced opposition from some Gujarat farmers who demanded higher compensation. In response, NHSRCL revised the compensation package for private landowners. Currently, this remains the only sanctioned high-speed rail project in India. Once operational, the high-speed rail, cruising at 320 km per hour, will cut the travel time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad down to just about 2 hours, covering a distance of 508.17 km. The first trial run for the MAHSR project is scheduled for August 2026, running between Surat and Bulamora, covering a distance of 63 km, exciting times ahead for high-speed rail travel in India. What are your thoughts on the current status of India's first bullet train project? Do let us know in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others.
Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.